it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This video is dedicated to the most recent Dessa's Homespun Sense pre-order. And I have my box right here. I just got in the mail this morning. And I really wasn't going to open it up before camera, but I just couldn't help myself. I had to, um, I had to open this up. And I might as well go ahead and get this out of the way right now and show you Miss Poppy. Poppy is involved today. She has been very, very bad today. She figured out how to get on top of the refrigerator. And Mommy is not happy. <laughs> but this is little Poppy. I just want you to see her because you don't ever get to see her that often. But she wants down now because she wants to go get into stuff because she knows my mom's busy right now. So, okay, honey. We're going to go ahead and talk about wax. So, just wanted to show you Poppy. Okay, so I can't remember. I think this was in, I think this was in May that this pre-order was. Maybe this, oh, the slip is right here. Yeah, Ashley, it's a good idea. Uh, May 21st was this pre-order. And so uh, less than two months of having um, the turnaround time. So that is really great. So Dessa is such a nice person. She's from Arizona. Dessa Bonner. And the little package here is the sample pack that looks like she has um, a few samples in here and um, business cards and a note, it looks like. But Poppy, honey. Okay. I got mostly breakaway bars. In fact, I got all breakaway bars and then one mini loaf here. So when I have this out, Georgia peach and sweet cornbread pudding. And I wanted to get more mini loaves, but I decided I feel like I'm going to sneeze, so it might be coming. So, <laughs> sorry, this is real life. Um, I wanted to get more mini loaves, but I decided to wait for the fall pre-order, which her list was just released, and it's fantastic. So, um, I went ahead and got Georgia peach and sweet cornbread pudding, and I saw somebody in the group earlier post that her her peach is a good peach it's not the cat pee peach and trust me poppy's pee smells and this does not smell like cat pee this is a great authentic juicy peach it almost reminds me of another vendor's um peach nectar um i don't want to say it on here just you know not to take anything away from dessa but this is a really good peach so if you watch some of my other videos you might know which peach I'm talking about. So this one is definitely peach. It's definitely peach. I'm not getting too much of the sweet cornbread pudding, but I'm pretty sure that when this is warmed up, that that depth of the bakery will come alive. At least let's hope right now. But that is freshly poured, so we'll give that time to cure. So let's get on to the Build-A-Bars. I have quite a few here. I might as well just take them all out of the box. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, Tuesday is my favorite day of the week. I don't know why. It just always has been my favorite day of the week. Not Friday, not Saturday, surely not Sunday because you have to go to work the next day. But um, I should say the weekends are fun because Marty and I go golfing quite a bit. And he golfs with his guy friends, but then uh, lately we've been going and getting out of the house and, you know, spending time together and talking about golf. So that's what's happening. First, La Patisserie. Now I've had this before. I had this in a random act of kindness and this is a really good bakery scent. I'm not sure if this one is offered in the list for this coming pre-order on July 23rd. Not sure. It might be. If it is, snag it. It's really great on its own. It's really good as a blender. The notes are pastry dough, caramelized sugar, buttercream, and cinnamon and sugar. And this is really good. It's really strong. Right now I'm just getting the buttercream and a little bit of the dough. But once this has had a lot of cure time, um, you know, the two weeks at least, sometimes a month, depending on how long you want to let your wax cure for, the caramelized sugar and the, um, the cinnamon just really pops when you warm this. This lasts for a while. It, it throws wonderfully. It's a really good one. Next is some of these are repurchases, and but most of these are ones I haven't had before. But let me go ahead and get the ones I've had before. Okay, everybody's favorite, sweet macerated strawberries. 
This is sliced strawberries coated in sugar until the natural sweet syrup is released. My mom used to do macerated strawberries growing up because her mother used to. You know, that's all they had. My mom will be 80 next year, and she was born in the 40s. So naturally, um, my mom is one of 11 children. And my grandmother, who I never met, uh, she passed before I was born, um, would do this to feed the 13 mouths that were in the household. So on Sunday, they would have a cake, pound cake, angel food cake. It was cake. It was the cake day with the Sunday dinner. One of my aunts um, is older than my mom, and I was very close to her, still am. And I, uh, if, if you watch me talk about banana nut bread and different different recipes I've talked about, a lot of them are hers. And this reminds me of just those times. So this is a really nice, sweet, not artificial, but it's a true authentic strawberry smell. It's very, very good. It's it, Yes, it's sweet, but it has a really authentic, true strawberry smell. This is a really good one here. Next, Pirate Voyage. Now, I love the hell out of this one. This is amazing. And this is Pirates of the Caribbean inspired. A sea spray, aged wood, cannon smoke, and musty water. And I'll tell you, I just finished up the, I knew I was getting another one of these, and I should have bought a loaf, but I didn't. Um, I finished up the last two bars I had today in my kitchen. Actually, I put it in last night, and I turned it off for bed, and I turned it on this morning, and I thought, man, that cannon smoke and musty water, I love that. I wish I knew what that was, because I would try to have buy it myself and make wax just to have just to have that smell it's it's amazing and if you've ever been to the ride or in, for or for that for that regard any indoor water ride that has you know that that musty smell of indoor water and you know all the yummy stuff that's in there you know that makes those makes it smell like that this mixed with the cannon smoke and mixed with the sea spray and the aged wood this is immaculate i love this blend it is so 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 good and then the other fresh one that i've had before is seize the day this is a really good one i blew through this a long time ago it's been gone this is ocean air driftwood and hints of sea moss and this is very 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 fresh it is Oh, it's really nice. I like it. You've got a little bit of driftwood to add a saltiness to it. You have your ocean air, which is an extra part of salt. Then you have your moss, which is green and fresh and relaxing. I really, really like that one. So let me just make sure none of these are repurchases. Nope. Okay. These are all brand new babies here. Frozen, pineapple frozen whip, I should say just like a cup of pineapple Dole Whip. And if you've ever been to Disney World, Disneyland, they do sell the Dole Whip. And Dole has actually allowed other places to buy, buy their Dole Whip. So they have Dole Whip here in my town where I live. I can go get it whenever I want. But of course, it's not the same as having it at Disney World or Disneyland. But this smells really, really, really good. It is, it's not quite exactly a pop of fresh pineapple, kind of like if you're cutting into a pineapple or smelling a can of pineapple. It's not like that. It's got that little bit of extra sweetness to it, a little bit of that sugar. Whether it's vanilla ice cream straight, I'm not sure what she uses to make this, but it's got a little something extra in it. It's pineapple, definitely, but it's a little bit sweeter. So that's a really good one too. Next, oh, pink frosted cake. I should have bought this in a loaf. I really should have but when it comes back, I definitely will if she offers it in that form. This is yellow cake topped with a sweet strawberry buttercream frosting. Now, if you watch my channel, you know that I rave and rave and rave about strawberry and pink frosted cake and animal cookie and all of that type of stuff. This smells fantastic. This, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's yellow. It's definitely yellow cake, and it's got that sweet... It's, it, it is a strawberry buttercream frosting, but right now it's more of a buttercream and cake. It's so good. It's like you just bake a cake and frost it and that nice fresh scent. It's so, that fresh cake scent. It's so good. I love this one. Great job, Dessa, on that one. Next is, this is a new blend, uh, Circus Under the Stars. 
This is Palo Santo blended with funnel cake, caramelized apple, cotton candy, and hints of smoldering bonfire. Um, this is, um, I think, I can't remember the blend. Circus Confection, I think that's the blend that she had that is the bulk of this mixed with Palo Santo. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I thought I bought it, but I didn't. Now this one, that is really good. You get that Palo Santo, sultry, woodsy, creamy, nice woodsy scent, but I also get the caramel apple definitely, and I get the cotton candy and this was genius putting it together, but I mean, of course, Palo Santo, you can mix with just about anything, especially bakery and fruit. This is excellent, really good. Love the color. I love pink. Pink's my favorite color, so I will say that all the time. Next is Mint Julep Bar. This is a beautiful green color, too. I'm into neon right now. I got neon. You can't really tell my nails are neon because they're kind of, they're kind of muted in this room, but I'm into neon right now. I love it. This is lime juice, muddled mint leaves, and sugar crystals. I love a good lime. Lime's hard to find. This smells, oh my goodness, it smells like a mint julep. Or, if you haven't had a mint julep, it smells like spearmint. If you grow a spearmint plant, my, my aunt, who I just talked about, my Aunt Barbara, she at her house she has spearmint growing on the side of her house and she makes sun tea which is amazing i should make it here but a kid would probably steal it off the porch because there's tons of kids running around in the summertime but sun tea is just tea that's brewed from the heat of the sun in a glass jar on your porch and she would put spearmint in her tea and it just is so it's so comforting to think about that because I just spent so much time there and I remember her saying, Fred, go get the mint. And he would go cut a nice sprig off at night. And this just, this, that is another reason I think why I have been so passionate about home fragrance because it really does create memories. It brings up memories you haven't thought about in years. It's been packed down into the brain and um, our infinite full foul folder up here you know of smells of memories of things that you haven't thought about in such a long time I know I, I know I repeated myself but this oh this is wonderful and it I hope the lime comes out a little bit more when it is uh, warmed up but right now this is this is delicious and juicy and yummy mint juleps are pretty good too the official drink of Kentucky Derby so um Give that one a try if you get a chance. Next, Cinderella's Pumpkin Carriage. This is pumpkin, caramel, bear claws, waffle cone, and Bavarian cream. Oh my goodness. Everything scrumptious and yummy in here. And it's kind of a little uh, precursor to fall because it's got that pumpkin component into it. But, oh, is that good. I smell the caramel. I smell the waffle cone, the Bavarian cream, a little bit of the pumpkin, not so much, but the bear claws too. This is really, really good. I don't think this is offered this time, but there's something similar to this, I think, in the pumpkin department. Dessa has amazing scents coming up this next pre-order, so take a look if you haven't had a chance. A couple more here. I got Blackberry Buckle. This is a house blend, and this is buttery cake, batter, buttery cake batter and sweet blackberries. Let's see what this one smells like. This one, that's nice. That is really nice. It's cake with a little bit of berry. I can't quite tell it's blackberry, but it's a berry. You know, berry has that certain density, that certain richness to it. This is, uh, this is good. I really like this one. That will, I think that needs a little bit more cure time to get the cake to come out a little bit stronger. Um, next is Main Street Confectionery, and I'm pretty sure this one is on the list, if I'm not mistaken. Cotton candy, caramel apples, funnel cake, and kettle corn. And this isn't the one that's mixed with Palo Santo. I don't think so. Main Street Confectionery, house blend. Cotton candy, caramel apple, funnel cake, kettle corn. This is fabulous. I remember from smelling it earlier today. This, oh man. Kettle corn right off the bat, caramel apple right second, and cotton candy is there to sweeten it up, and 
a little bit of the greasiness from the funnel cake, but not bad greasy, but just, you know, it's a fried cake. Really good. Finally, Haunted Doom Buggy. I really like the color in this. I don't know if you can see it here, the detail. Really like the color. This is charred mahogany, teakwood, sandalwood, and amber vanilla. A little bit of masculine there, but that smells good. The amber vanilla and the sandalwood, definite. This is a nice relaxing scent. It's not too masculine right now. Maybe that will, um, the teakwood, which kind of has a masculine vibe to my nose, maybe that will come out a little bit more on warm, but these are all excellent. I love these. So let's get to the sample bag and then we'll be on our way with this one. So empty these out here. We have a thank you card for supporting, for supporting my soft, my small business. On the back here, we have the uh, melting tips, if you care to read those. And we have the business card here, handcrafted since 2014. Oh, she's almost 10 years old. A little note that says, thank you, Ashley. Hope you love everything, Dessa. And here's the samples. We have tropical fruit chiller. Ooh, let's see what this one is. Tropical fruit chiller. Oh, that's good. I wonder what's in here because it smells really rich, like a nice sangria or a fruit punch. This, that is excellent. Is this a house blend, if anybody knows? That's really good. If that's a single oil, very, very good too. Next is fresh raspberry sauce. Ooh, lots of fruity today. I love it. This one. Oh, that's good. That is very good. This is just raspberry sauce, a sweet raspberry sauce. I think this is common with other vendors, I, I think, but this one is really good. Unless it's a house blend, I don't know, but it smells like it. I've smelled it before, but it's a really good, rich raspberry. And finally, Nana's Bakehouse. I saw this on the list last time. I didn't grab it because I didn't want to go overboard, but this one, I'm pretty sure this is on the list this time. Maybe it's not. I no, I don't think it is. I'm sorry. I, I like I said, the list is really long and I didn't memorize it, but maybe this wasn't on on this time. I don't think it is. But this one is just a nice, like spicy cinnamon bakery cakey concoction. Really, really good. So on the bag, this says I have too many melts said no one ever. I need that on my license plate, I think. So, <laughs> yeah, that is my most recent haul from Dessas. And I hope um, if you did participate in this pre-order that you enjoy everything and love everything that you got. So um, hope you guys have a great evening and I'll see you soon.